Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, let us worship, let us adore, and let us praise our God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Let us profess our faith in the one God, in three divine persons. And let us pray that we may share in the love and unity of our triune God, so that we may become less unworthy to participate in the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our sins, and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. 
We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, power, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, As now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, ask from one end of the sky to the other, Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs, and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord, your God, did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? This is why you must know now and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land, which the Lord your God is giving you forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. Be commanded, and it stood forth. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord. 
who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slaver, slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption, through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, At the very heart of our Christian faith is the belief in the Most Holy Trinity. We believe in one God, but this one God has three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And even though there are three persons, they do not become three gods. They remain to be one God. We are Christians because we believe in the Trinity revealed to us by God Himself. Ang banal na santatlo, hindi gawa lamang ng simbahan. Ang banal na santatlo 
ay ang pagpapakilala ng Diyos sa atin kung sino siya. Kaya naniniwala tayo sa iisang Diyos na may tatlong persona sapagkat ang Diyos mismo ang nagsabi sa atin na siya ay iisang Diyos na Ama, Anak, at Espiritu Santo. Sa pinakapuso ng ating pananampalataya bilang Kristiyano ay ang ating paniniwala sa banal na santatlo. Dahil ang buong buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano ay umiikot sa banal na santatlo. Our whole life as Christians revolve around the Trinity. In baptism, when water is poured on us, we were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When we die, we will be blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When you go to confession, our sins are absolved. The priest tells us, I absolve your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When we celebrate the liturgy, especially the Mass, we pray to the Father, but we make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. You are one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever and ever. When we pray, we begin our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We conclude our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. When we bless religious articles, houses, cars, we bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Kaya talagang ang buong buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano umiikot sa banal na santatlo. Simula pa sa binyag hanggang sa pinakadulo ng ating buhay dito sa mundo, hindi natin matatakasan ang banal na santatlo. That is why our readings today, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, talk about the actions of God in our lives. Paano bang kumikilos ang Diyos sa ating buhay? Ano ba ang ginagawa ng Diyos sa ating buhay? In our first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, we saw the works of God who is Father, the God who created us, the God who formed a people, the people of Israel, the people of God, the God who protected them, defended them, liberated them from slavery in Egypt. Kaya sa ating unang pagbasa, tinatanong ni Moises sa mga tao, saan pa ba kayo makakakita ng Diyos na ganyan? Ang Diyos na naglalakbay kasama ninyo, ang Diyos na ipinagtatanggol kayo, ang Diyos na nag-aalaga sa inyo. That is the manifestation of God as Creator and Father, especially in the Old Testament. In our Gospel today, we heard about Jesus' commission to His disciples. Pabalik na si Jesus sa langit, Kaya binigyan niya ng atas ang kanyang mga alagad na ipagpatuloy ang kanyang mga ginawa dito sa daigdig. 
Sinabi sa kanila ni Jesus, Go therefore, humayo kayo, and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ipagpatuloy ninyo ang mga ginawa ko. Kaya naman ang simbahan, ang bawat Kristiyano, nagpapatuloy pa rin ng dakilang gawa ni Jesus. At ano yung dakilang gawa ni Jesus? Ang kaligtasan. The church is the sacrament of salvation because the church continues the work of Jesus to save. Ang anak si Jesus nagliligtas. And in our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, we are told of the work of the Holy Spirit. Kung am ang ama ang siyang lumikha, ang anak ang siyang nagliligtas, ang Espiritu Santo naman na ating tinanggap, ang siyang nag-uugnay sa atin, sa ama at sa anak. The Holy Spirit that we received, the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, makes us children of the Father. And because we are children of the Father, then we are co-heirs with Christ. Sabi sa atin ni San Pablo, dahil sa Espiritu Santo, tayo'y naging mga anak ng Diyos. At dahil tayo'y mga anak ng Diyos, tayo'y tagapagmana katulad ni Jesus, kapatid ni Jesus. These are the works of the Trinity. And through these works of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we see and discover who God is. Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga gawa sa ating buhay, nakikilala natin kung sino ang Diyos. And that, my dear brothers and sisters, is what our solemnity today is all about. It is about who God is. Our solemnity today invites us to rediscover the nature and essence of God. Our celebration today is not about what God does. Karaniwan po sa kalendaryo ng simbahan, ang ipinagdiriwang natin ay yung mga gawa, mga dakilang gawa ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Kapag Pasko, Anong ipinagdiriwang natin? Ang kapanganakan ni Jesus. Kapag muling pagkabuhay, anong ipinagdiriwang natin? Yung muling pagkabuhay, pagbibigay ng Ama kay Jesus ng muling buhay. Kapag Pentecostes, anong ipinagdiriwang natin? Yung pagbaba ng Espiritu Santo. We usually celebrate an event or an action of God in salvation history. But today's solemnity does not talk about the action of God. Today's solemnity invites us to go beyond the actions of God to God Himself. Huwag lamang pagtuunan kung ano yung ginagawa ng Diyos, yung pagkilos ng Diyos. Mula sa pagkilos at mga gawa ng Diyos, tumungo tayo ngayon kung sino ba ang Diyos. And so our feast today is not just about what God can do. Our feast today is about who God is. Hindi natin pinag-uusapan lamang ngayon kung ano ang ginagawa ng Diyos. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, sino ang Diyos? And by celebrating this, we are invited to give importance 
not only to doing, but also to being. Nagagawa ng Diyos ang magligtas. Nagagawa ng Diyos ang lumikha. Nagagawa ng Diyos na magpabanal dahil siya ay Diyos. Yung kanyang nagagawa ay nagmumula sa kung sino siya. Kaya mas mahalaga kung sino ang Diyos kaysa sa sa kanyang mga nagagawa. And so, today we are invited really to focus and give importance not only on what one can do, but on what one is. Let us love God because not only because of what He can do, because, but also because of who He is. Mas mahalaga yung sino kaysa sa kung ano ang nagagawa. Many times, my dear brothers and sisters, we value people based on what they can do more than who they are. Yung pagpapahalaga natin, sinusukat natin sa ano ba ang kaya niyang gawin? Ano ba ang meron siya? Ano ba ang naabot niya? Kaysa sino ba siya? Kapag nagtatanong po ako sa mga ikakasal sa interview, bakit ba siya ang napili mong pakasalan? Bakit mo siya mahal? Kadalasan ang sagot, eh kasi Father, ang bait-bait niya sa akin. Kasi Father, maganda yung kanyang pangarap sa buhay at kasama ako dun sa pangarap na yun. Eh kasi Father, maganda ang kanyang pag-uugali. Kadalasan tungkol sa magagawa. Hindi kung sino siya, kundi kung ano ang ginagawa niya. At ganyan din po tayo sa ating pagpapahalaga sa mga tao. Minsan tinitingnan natin, ah, ito, mataas ang posisyon nito. Kaya mahalaga ito sa lipunan. Ito, mayaman yan. Kaya VIP yan. Ang batayan natin ng halaga ay yung nagagawa. Kaya naman kapag wala nang nagagawa, ang tingin natin, wala na rin halaga. Tingnan nyo po, tingnan natin ang ating sarili, sino ba yung mga taong mahalaga para sa atin? Baka yung mga pinapahalagahan natin, yun lamang mga tao may nagagawa para sa atin. Sino ba yung mga taong minamahal natin? Baka yung pagmamahal natin, nakabatay din sa nagagawa para sa akin. My dear brothers and sisters, being is more important than doing. Pahalagahan natin ang bawat isa, mahalin natin ang bawat isa, hindi dahil sa kung ano ang nagagawa natin, kundi dahil sa ating pagkatao kung sino tayo. And the same also in our relationship with God. Do we love God only because of what He can do for us? Do we love God because He gives us blessings? Do we love God because He answers our prayers? Do we love God because He gives rewards when we love Him? Do we love God because we want to go to heaven? Bakit ba natin minamahal at sinasamba ang Diyos? 
dahil sa kanyang nagagawa para sa atin o minamahal ba natin siya at sinasamba dahil siya ay Diyos. Kahit hindi pa siya sumagot sa ating panalangin, kahit hindi pa niya ibigay ang ating hinihingi, kahit parang hindi siya gumagawa ng solusyon sa ating mga problema, kahit parang hindi natin siya nararamdaman sa ating buhay, mamahalin ko siya dahil siya ay Diyos. Sana dumating sa ganung level ang ating pagmamahal at pagkilala sa Diyos. We love God not just because of what He can do. Even if He will not do anything, I will still love Him because He is God. Ito ang itinuturo sa atin ng ating pagdiriwang ngayon. Hindi lamang yung magagawa ng Diyos, kundi mula dun sa nagagawa ng Diyos, puntahan natin kung sino siya. At yun ang mas mahalaga. I remember one beautiful prayer by Saint Francis Xavier. In his prayer, he said, I love you, God, not because I want to go to heaven. I love you not because I am afraid that if I do not love you, I might go to hell. I love you because of who you are. Even if there is no heaven, even if there is no hell, I will continue loving you. Because you are God. You are my only God. Maganda po yan nung tinranslate sa Tagalog, yung panalangin ni San Francisco Javier. Sabi niya, Hindi sa langit mong pangako sa akin, ako na aakit na ikay mahalin. At hindi sa apoy, kahit anong lagim, ako mapipilit nilig kang sambahin. Naaakit ako ng iyong pag-ibig, kaya't mahal kita kahit walang langit, kahit walang apo sa iyong manilig. Huwag nang mag-alala upang ibigin ka. Pagkat kung pag-asay, bula lamang pala, walang magbabago, mahal pa rin kita. My dear brothers and sisters, let us worship, let us, let us adore, let us praise, and let us love God, not only because of the things that He does for us. Let us love Him because of who He is. He is our God. For after all, that is also how God loves us. Mahal tayo ng Diyos, hindi sa kung ano ang nagagawa natin na kulang na kulang. Mahal tayo ng Diyos sa ating pagkatao. God loves us not for what we can do. God loves us for who we are. God loves you for who you are. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith in the Triune God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are children of God. As true co-heirs with Christ, we can come to our Father with confident trust. And for every petition, we, could, we can say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity, the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who direct human society and frame our laws may submit to the commandments of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are slaves to fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That, through a new evangelization, we may bring non-believers to faith and baptism in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brothers and sisters may raise into the glory of the Holy Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers. Let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, as we offer our prayers, draw us into the communion of the Spirit who dwells in your children, and the Son, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Filled with the Holy Spirit, let us now call on God, our loving Father, as Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral, uh, lalong-lalo na po sa mga nagtsagang tumayo sa likod at doon sa labas para makadalo sa ating banal na pagdiriwang. Salamat po sa inyong cooperation sa ating mga health protocols. I also wish to thank those who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you for continuously being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral and uh, our gratitude also for all your support, for all the love offerings that you send us in order for the Manila Cathedral to continue in its mission, these online masses and also our charities. We also thank the many social media platforms who are sharing this uh, mass uh, this Sunday morning so that many of our brothers and sisters may be spiritually nourished by the Word of God and by the Mass. Maraming salamat din po sa mga staff at servants ng Manila Cathedral na naglingkod sa pagdiriwang na ito. At nawa po ay pagpalain ng Diyos itong bagong linggo na haharapin nating lahat. Nawa ay gabayan tayong palagi ng banal na santatlo sa lahat ng ating gagawin. At nawa ay mahalin natin ang Diyos kung sino siya sa ating buhay. Nawa ang ating buong buhay ay palaging pagbibigay ng papuri sa ating Diyos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing.
May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy now and forever. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Until 